The Lamina Sheriff's Station is seeking more volunteers on patrol. Every day, volunteers on patrol cruise the peninsula in white marked cars. They're watching for criminal activity to help law enforcement keep our community safe. Well, the volunteers on patrol are extremely important, and they're assisting the deputy sheriffs actually out in the field. We've had um, numerous times when there's been uh, fatalities. Volunteers on patrol were out there literally holding the, uh, the streets, putting up the cones, putting up a flare pattern. We mainly are being out on patrol in the uniform and in the car that says sheriff's on it. We want to show a, an image that is sometimes hopefully a deterrent for crime. It is also helpful to people who may need assistance. So we're out there doing that. We do vacation checks on houses and people, the houses are vacant. They're going to be gone for a while. We do that kind. We do traffic control on accidents. For years, the Lamita Sheriff's Station has been recruiting citizens to join volunteers on patrol to assist deputies in the field. They are trained to perform non-hazardous duties, from checking on homes to issuing parking tickets. They are not armed, but have the tools to stay out of harm's way. Yeah, ten four, uh, we got it. We don't have um, guns, we don't have weapons, but we have something, sometimes it's even better. We carry radios, so we can get people who do have weapons to uh, help us out right away. And that's exactly what we would do if we saw something that was suspicious. I have been uh, successful in, in observing people who are suspicious and who have turned out to be uh, of a suspicious nature and have been taken into custody. I have done that. Uh, that is a kind of a, an adrenaline rush. This RPV resident has volunteered for 17 years and his colleague joined five years ago. Every time they get behind the wheel, they know they are on an important mission and encourage more residents to get involved to prevent crime. I think it's very effective and helps us to keep control of our situation here and helps the police department, the sheriff's department of keeping track of what's going on around the area. There are eyes and ears. They're the ones that are out there. We don't want them contacting people unless it's just a friendly contact. Um, but they do have police radio, so they have full contact with us at all times. What kind of background, background do you need? What do people need to know if they are interested in doing this? Well, it's, it's really very simple. I mean, you need to be a, a U.S. citizen, uh, 18 or older, and we'll do a, a full background check. We'll actually live scan them, uh, which includes the full fingerprints, and we're checking their background. We definitely have room for more volunteers on patrol. Law enforcement is something that I have always loved to do and I have experienced in the past, and I wanted to give back to my community. I think it's rewarding. I think if you have time on your hands uh, and retired, it's wonderful. And if you're younger and plan to pursue a uh, career in law enforcement, tell you it looks great on a resume. Now if you are interested in becoming a member of the volunteers on patrol you will need to stop by the Lomita Sheriff Station and fill out an application. Once you have been cleared and approved then you will be trained and ready for action to be part of this fine team that is sworn to help serve and protect our community. I'm Liz Brown Swanson reporting for RPV TV.